Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic, and this video is going to be on how to install CyanogenMod 7, also a gingerbread ROM, onto your Samsung Fascinate. Now, this procedure will be pretty straightforward and will work for most Galaxy S devices. However, you're going to want to make sure that you have installed and you are going to be putting on your uh, phone the software or firmware that is compatible with your phone. So um, don't be putting Samsung Fascinate uh, firmware, don't be flashing that over to your Galaxy S2. But um, in order for this to work, we're going to need a couple programs. The first thing you're going to want to do is return your phone to stock. Now I'm on a Windows computer, so um, you either need to be on Windows 7 or Windows Vista, or find an equivalent for Mac, but I don't know what that would be. And we're going to go ahead and open up the program, which is called Odin. And uh, by the way, all the links will be in the description. So now we're going to go ahead and double click on Odin, and you're going to want to open up Odin. And now these programs that you've downloaded also, you're going to see, they're going to be called CI500 Verizon Wireless EH03 Gingerbread uh, TAR.MD5, and that is the uh, stock Verizon wireless firmware for the Samsung Fascinate. Um, you're also going to see a CM4 fix for CM7. This is Clockwork Mod. So once these two things are installed, we're going to go ahead and flash that over the computer. Um, if you don't have that, this won't work. But uh, like I said before, all the links will be in the description. Um, and then once you have downloaded all those, you're going to want to make sure you have... You have... Let me go ahead and exit out of this folder. Super user 3.07, so I'll drag that to my desktop. All of these, all the other ones are not for um, gingerbread. But as you can see, I have four files on my desktop. Super user, CM7, CM7, and GAPS. The GAPS is Google Apps. And these two are, this is a nightly build, and this is a CyanogenMod 7 stable release. So depending on what route you want to take, I usually go nightly build. You are going to put over which device, what uh, zip file you want to Samsung Fascinate. Okay, now that we have all of that out of the way, we're going to go back into Odin. And as you see, this is Odin, which we're going to be using to restore our device to its stock firmware. And we are going to perform a battery pull and put our phone into recovery, uh, download mode rather. It's very simple on how to do that. You go ahead and take your battery out. Now with your device plugged into your computer through your micro USB port, you're gonna go ahead and hold down the volume rocking down. Alright, so now as you can see in Odin, it's recognized the phone. And if you don't have the drivers installed, none of this is going to work. We're gonna go down to PIT we're going to go ahead and select Atlas. We're going to select PDA now. Don't select phone. Phone will brick your device. I know it's kind of ironic, but we never select phone. Go ahead and hit PDA. Now you're going to want to select the file above Engine Mod Fix, so the stock firmware. Go ahead, double click that. Now, with everything looks okay, and it looks like that. You're going to go ahead and hit start. As you can see in the bottom, you're getting a little run through of what's happening. Alright, so now it's setting up the connection and it's starting to flash over all the files. Okay, so now if you have had success, you should get a message in Odin saying pass and then the time at the bottom. The next step is going to actually be hitting reset in Odin. Going down to PDA one more time. So PDA. 
and selecting the clockwork mod. Hit open and hit start. Oh, I'm sorry, you have to put your device back into download mode first. So now we'll go ahead, hit start again, and this time we should get no issues. Alright, so it passed. Now you can go ahead and unplug your phone from your computer. Go ahead and put your battery back in. And let the phone boot up and activate it. And I'll come back when my phone is done activating. Alright, once your phone has booted up, you're going to want to go ahead and turn it off. So just hold down the power button and go down to power off. The next step we're going to be, is we're going to be performing a three-finger boot. And a three-finger boot involves holding the volume rocker down, up, and power button. Holding them at the same time, and that should boot you into recovery. Note that this is the one and only time that you will be able to do a three-fingered boot with this clockwork recovery. From here on out until it is added official support to the Samsung Fascinate, if you do a three-fingered boot, you will have to restore your device through Odin. So let's go ahead and get it done. So now you can see it says Samsung, you can let go. And now we're in clockwork recovery. Version 4.0.1. Alright, so now we're going to go up here. And usually people say you go ahead and wipe cache. I found this works best if you don't wipe anything. Going to go ahead and install zip from SD card. And the first thing we're going to install will be super user. So we'll go down to super user. Go ahead and hit install. Hit yes. It's going to go ahead and install super user. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead down and hit install on the gingerbread ROM. So whatever one you want to install at this point, it doesn't matter whether you want to install the uh, solid, I mean the final release of CM2, minute so you can see, CM2, or if you want to install CM7 nightly builds. For me, I'm a nightly kind of guy, so we're going to go ahead and hit install the nightly. Hit yes. Alright, so our phone has now rebooted, and the next step is going to be holding down the power button again. This time going down to reboot. And you're going to go ahead and select recovery, and now we're going to go ahead and install the gaps. Alright, now we're back in recovery. We're going to head down to install zip from SD. We're going to go to choose SD from zip card. Go down to SD. Now we're going to go ahead and select GAPS Gingerbread. We'll say GAPS GB. And select that. Go ahead and install the zip. Android, um, it is now complete, so now we're going to go ahead and go back and reboot our system. And I'll come back when my phone has rebooted. Alright, so our device should have rebooted. And now we are going to go through the activation setup of our phone. I'm going to go ahead and skip the activation. Skip. I'm not going to create a Google account. Skip. Next, all right. So as you can see, we are now running on Android 2.3.5 or 2.3.7, I believe. So just to confirm that, we'll go down to settings, about phone, 2.3.7, and 
and with this ROM, a lot more, more a lot more custom ability when it comes to flashing kernels and whatnot. So if you uh, like to flash different kernels, then this is going to be your go-to ROM. I had it clocked up to uh, 1.4 gigahertz, and I got a uh, standard quadrant score of about 3,500 while I was playing around with this ROM last week. So um, that's pretty much it. Follow, uh, stay tuned for or check back on YouTube for my follow-up video on the quadrant standard and some of the kernels you can use with the Samsung Fascinate. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions on how to install it or how to use Odin, feel free to ask me in the comments below or send me a PM. But, Fanatic, this is me saying peace.